Toronto. This is the day to which we have all been eagerly looking forward since 1940, when you unanimously agreed that we should ask that, and for the purposes of the proposal I am to make today, I feel it is necessary for me to remind you of the circumstances in which we were then living. We took stock of our losses so far. France was virtually out of the war. We had lost Belgium as an ally. Our army had lost all its arms and equipment. And our purchasing power abroad had gone. But we still had an asset that nobody else in the world had. Not even Germany. We still had Winston Churchill. The one man in the whole world of whom it was said, Hitler was afraid. The man to whom the whole democratic world and Russia was at that moment looking for the lead we knew would come. We were not kept waiting long, because on the 4th of June, 1940, the Prime Minister delivered in the House of Commons that most pungent speech of defence, which vibrated round the world, in which he said, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, in the fields, in the streets, and in the hills. We shall never Surrender. The words were, of course, Winston Churchill's, and delivered as only he could deliver them. But the Spanish Harbour, and it is because of this, members of the Council, the Right Honourable. Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill. All his merit, companion of honor, member of parliament. For his courage unanimously. this 
resolution or arrived at the decision to confer this freedom. After these ten years, I am indeed glad to be alive to come here today and receive this honor and tribute. The, the Portsmouth is the maiden cradle of the Royal Navy. All do I know, all that there is here. And I've seen you in days of stress and storm, and also in what used to be called the piping times of peace. Ah, uh, Portsmouth, always the centre of the of the naval power of Britain. Look back on the story for about 50 years in the in the 19th century, calm and peace of the great power of the seas for all the world. Those were the days in which we sustained the American Monroe Doctrine, protecting all that vast world which had grown up in the period which has passed, which now in all its might and strength comes to rescue the peoples of the old world and the causes both of the old and of the new. Now, achieved the solid foundations of peace. But whether these dangers gather or not, and how we shall, how we shall come through them, these are matters we cannot measure. We cannot tell. All we know is we will do our duty. God helping us, we will do our duty. And the Royal Navy and its modern, beautiful bride, the Royal Naval Air Service, uh, they will play their part in ensuring the survival of our race and freedom in this famous island and also of preserving those great causes without which we should not find the world fit for free men to live in. I am most grateful to you, my Lord Mayor, and to your council who are here. This casket of the Victory Oak, which I, which I have received from you with your scroll, will always be preserved among the most treasured possessions of my descendants and will always give them the feeling that at this time and on this day I had the honor to touch 